good morning, you're here already. I was just getting ready to start my day. Come on in, you can join me while I get ready for my show. Come on. Oh, I get employed as a yodeler comedian. A lot of people think when they see me up on stage that it's all just a lot of fun and giggles, but uh, let me tell you, there's a lot of hard work and preparation goes into just a small show. Or a large one, doesn't matter. Yeah, there's always wondering just what the uh, what the crowd's going to be like on the night. What I'm going to say and not say. Getting song charts ready and always being ahead of everybody else, especially being a comedian. Yeah, well, that sounds like Willie. Stay with me, folks. Got to go. I don't want to be late. All right, then. See you, love. See ya. Bye. Bye, Bye Morgan. Bye. Mm -hmm. Have be a good, good show. Be good. Bye. Be good for Daddy. See you later. Have you a good show. No, I won't be late. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you one of our favourites here at Mildura. She's a great mate of mine, and I, I mean that sincerely. We've done a lot of shows together. And she's gorgeous. She, uh, <laughs> and she is lovely. And can, boy, can she yodel. Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure, would you please welcome to the stage the lovely, the delectable, hey, that's a good word, hey, delectable, a adorable, uh, what's your name? <laughs> Laura Downing, here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You been enjoying it? Me too, but I'm getting knocked up. <laughs> Hello, darling. You want to do some dancing? You go back over there. You're looking straight up me nose, son. Yeah, you go. That's it. That's it. Keep stop when you get to the service station. Okay, stop, Morgan. Stop. 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 That's a boy. His father's son. Here we go. myself, uh, about 26 of them, <laughs> alright, 30 of them, 
I'm not going past 40. Oh, dear, I'll tell you what, Will come up to me and he said to me, hey, Laws, he said, you got a birthday coming up. I said, yeah. He said, you know what you want? I said, yeah. He said, you care to share? I said, I'd like a breast enlargement, thank you, but I don't want surgery. Because I think unnecessary surgery is dangerous, isn't it, girls? He said, oh, <laughs> that's easy. Have you tried rubbing toilet paper between them? I said, will that work? He said, well, it worked on your bum. I said, don't be so ridiculous, Willie. Don't be so ridiculous. I said, I'm serious. He said, oh, hang on. He went and he got out the yellow pages and he had a bit of a look and he found him. Anybody from Ballarat? There you go, sweetie. Dr. Jones in Ballarat does them without surgery. So I phoned him up. I said, I believe you do breast enlargements without surgery. He said, that's right. And I said, well, I'd like one. Well, two as a matter of fact. So I made an appointment, I hopped on a plane, I flew down to Melbourne there and I went and I saw him. He said, now Laws, he said, I can help you with this, but there's an exercise you've got to do and you've got to make sure you do it on the hour, every hour, for six months. You can't even be 10 seconds late. If you're longer than 10 seconds late, it's not going to work. I said, righto. Hang on, I'm going to put this, hang on a minute. Right, now pay attention, girls. This is how the exercise go, are you ready? Mary had a little lamb, her fleece was white as snow, and if I do my exercise, my bust is sure to grow. I thought, I can do that. So I got on a plane, I went back home to Brisbane, and I was doing it beautifully for four and a half months. Never failed, was never more than 10 seconds late. It was working just fine. Until one day I was running late for work and I got on a public bus. And there was an old fellow with his face buried in the newspaper down the back of the bus. I thought he wouldn't have any idea what I'm doing. I was running late, I only had five seconds left. So I checked. Mary had a little lamb, her fleece was white as snow. And if I do my exercise, my bust is sure to grow. And folks, he was standing right there. He said, you go and see Dr. Jones in Ballarat, don't you? I said, how would you know that? He said, hickory dickory dock. Oh, yeah, my husband's got something to bring them. He did he told me he didn't have them. He didn't have them, but I made him go back and get them. <laughs> He's heading over that way there with the bubby. Probably getting the baby an ice cream, I'd say. So I'll make I better chase him. Okay, then. How are you?